because most movies, Hollywood's ruined marriage. We fell in love. <laughs> no, that's not love. That's, that's Twitter-pated stupidity. It's only going to last 18 months. You're going to wake up next to a she-bear about 18 months from now. That wears off. People say, what happened? We fell out of love. You can't fall out of love. You can fall out of bed, fall off a cliff, fall off the couch, fall out of your truck. You can't fall out of love. Love's a choice. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. God chose to love us. And we were going to hell on purpose. Love's a choice. And so I tell people, you can't fall out of love. And so I, I, found, this, I found this scripture in Revelation. I, I used it forever. And I'm, we're making a mini book out of it right now. I, I quote this to you. Revelation 2.4. Message translation. Uh, church at Ephesus. God's confronting the seven churches and some of it's not good. Church at Ephesus, he's bragging on, he's telling them what a good thing they've done and all this good stuff. He said at the end, he said, but I have one thing against you. He said, what? Well, I do have something against you. Well, I thought you were bragging on us, you were proud of us. Well, I am proud of you, you've done some really good stuff. I mean, compared to the rest, you're doing really good, but I do have this one thing against you. And they said, what? And God said, you've left your first love. They said, what? Yeah, you've left me. Uh, you used to hang out with me all the time. You know, when we first fell in love, you hung out with me, sang to me, worshiped me. We walked together, talked together. You'd listen when I talked. But now, you know, you got so successful, you don't have time for me anymore. You've fallen out of love. So he said, you need to do three things. Number one, you need to remember from whence you fell. What? You need to think back when you fell in love, what it was like. You, you have to choose to love somebody. You have to choose something. But God said this, I've had people do that to me all the time. You need to remember back. So we took them through. What was it like when you fell in love? Well, we, we went on a date. Denise and I got to talk at one time. We were teaching on marriage the first time, and, and we were changing our seminar up. We're getting ready to go to this other seminar, and we're at the house. And, and so we're talking about some stuff we're going to teach and uh, talking about how important dating was. And she said, well, Joe, we haven't been on a date in seven years. I said, we date all the time. No, no, you and I, not the kids, not all 28 of us, the, just me and you on a date. Oh, we've been on a date this year. She said, name when? I said, well, we've been several times. When? Where did we go? I couldn't remember. She's just been seven years since we've been on the date. Now the kids are in the house. They're listening. I thought, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I said, we're going on right, right now. So I went and made some coffee and a cup of tea. And I told the kids, your mom and I are going out on the porch. Don't come out here. Unless you're bleeding to death, don't come out here. <laughs> and so Denise, I have a big Cracker Barrel porch on the side of the mountain there in Oklahoma. We went out and I sat down and had my coffee. And she's giggling. She said, what are we doing? We're going on a date. Not waiting until it gets right. We're going on a date right now. We don't even have to shave or nothing. We're going on a date right now. We're going out on the porch. We're going to sit down. We're going to have our first date. And so I'm drinking my coffee. And it was a beautiful day, man. The birds are flying around. We're looking down the mountain. It's real pretty. And so I'm sipping my coffee. She's sipping her tea. And we did that for 30 minutes. Didn't say a word to each other. And we just looked at each other at the same time. Now the kids have their face pressed to the door behind us. They're staring. <laughs> and we just looked at each other. I said, that's pretty good. What's, that's good. Let's do that again tomorrow. We went on another date the next day. We didn't go anywhere. We just drank coffee and tea and stared at something. And so, but it started the process of having to fall in love. You need to remember what it was like when you first fell in love. What have you stopped doing? What did you stop doing? You, you stop thinking and talking and singing and kissing and hugging. You stop worshiping God and giving him time and honor. It's like, you just need to start redoing. He said, you need to remember from what you felt. You need to repent that you fell out of love. What? You got to repent. You need to, sometimes you do it to your spouse. Honey, I'm sorry. I have been a doofus. Please forgive me. I'm not going to change today, but I'm going to start the process to change today. You need to repent. He said, you need to remember, you need to repent, and you need to redo what you did at the beginning. Got to redo it again.